says, Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is Bishop James Anthony Taki of the Christ Church International. And it's a blessing and an honor to bring you God's word of hope for your day today. This morning, I want to encourage you and pray with you from Leviticus chapter 26 and the verse number 9 and 10. Leviticus 26, 9 to 10. God comes in to his people and I believe and I want to trust God that this will also be applicable to you. He says, for I will look upon you favorably and make you fruitful, multiply you and confirm my covenant with you. You shall eat the old harvest and clear out the old because of the new. What an assuring word of prophecy. And this morning, this is my prayer for you. He says, I will look on you favorably. The word favorably or the word favor there is from the word grace. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 4, 16 that we should come boldly to the throne of grace that we will obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. The favor of the Lord is that unmerited favor shown to us and that is able to turn things around. God operates by his favor. God is the owner and giver of grace. It is something you didn't labor for, but when God bestows that favor on you, things begin to open for you. The Bible says, and the favor of God came upon Joseph and he was favored in prison. The Bible says, God says, I will look on you favorably and make you fruitful. That means that your fruitfulness is linked to the favor of the Lord. This morning, in the name of Jesus, whatever has brought barrenness to your life, barrenness to your health, barrenness to your marriage, barrenness to your relationship, barrenness to your ministry. I pray the Lord look upon you favorably and cause you to be fruitful. May your ministry be fruitful. May your marriage be fruitful. May your health be fruitful. See, when we talk about fruitfulness, it's not just living. It is actually being bountiful, being able to yield fruits and to flourish. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the freshness of God shall be your portion, that God's favor will bring you fruit. In other words, when you labor, there shall be good results. In the name of Jesus, in your careers, in your workplace, in your ministries, in your families, I pray that God will look upon you with favor and make you fruitful. And not only that, he said, I will look on you favorably and multiply you. In other words, your influence will be everywhere. In Jesus' name, I pray the Lord multiply your ministry. The Lord multiply your church. The Lord multiply your finances. The Lord multiply your influence everywhere. May the Lord cause the grace of God to bring you the grace and the power of influence in Jesus' name. May you receive favor in the sight of your superiors, favor in the sight of your colleagues, favor in the sight of the people you come into contact with. There is the need of the supernatural. In the name of Jesus, the favor of God that brings multiplication shall be your portion. The fruitfulness of God, I pray for you this morning that is hearing the sound of my voice, that is desiring a child in your marriage, that is desiring that for your brother or your sister. I pray in the name of Jesus, whoever you are standing in the gap for this morning, I stand as God's servant and pray for you that the season of barrenness and unfruitfulness be over and that God look upon you favorably and cause you to have your own child. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning may the voice of God silence every other voice speaking contrary to your fruitfulness and may God look upon you favorably and make you fruitful in this season where people are losing their jobs. May the Lord look upon you favorably and make you fruitful in your jobs, in your careers, in your businesses, in the season where businesses are folding. May the Lord look upon you favorably and cause your business to be fruitful and cause you to multiply and confirm his covenant with you. He said his covenant he will not break. One of the terms of his covenant was that as far as the east is from the west, so he will blot out your transgressions and your iniquity he will no longer remember. When God will no longer remember your iniquity, the devil cannot remember your iniquity. When the devil brings up your iniquity, the blood of Jesus will silence it and say, saved by grace, 
this case is dismissed. By the covenant of God, I pray over your life that the covenant of preservation shall be your portion. The covenant of divine supply shall be your portion. And the covenant of divine defense shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. And he says in verse 10, he says you shall eat the old harvest. In other words, you shall have enough that even when the new comes, you haven't finished eating the old and new one will still come in. That there will not be a lack in the name of Jesus in your life. Every curse of lack and want be broken this day in Jesus' name. I declare the covenant of God over your life. You will not beg for bread. The scripture says, I have lived and I am now old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. I plead the message of God and the grace of God over your life that you will not lack and you will not beg for bread. You will not be put to shame. And you will not be disgraced. I declare in the name of Jesus. Your resources will not dry. Your, your resources will not run dry. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The son of the living God. Today as you go about your day. I speak prophetically over your life. And fasting these scriptures over your life. That Leviticus 26, 9 to 10. Shall become permanent standing orders over your life. The Lord shall see you through the day. You will come back with a testimony. It shall be well with you. You will not die before your time. You will not fail. You will finish very well in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And until I come your way again tomorrow, this is Bishop James Sansinsaki of the Christ Church International in London, United Kingdom. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You will finish very well. God bless you and have a peaceful, blessed and progressive day. Bye-bye.